Mic check, one, two, three. Mic check, one, two, three. I'm trying to get this microphone right, but I got dogs all around me. I got the big brown hound back there. That's the brown hound. And I got my crazy border collie right here, but let's get into this video. Good morning, everybody. This is Jay Watts with Uber Jeep AZ. Early in the morning, rocking live in the mix. <laughs> Okay, let me stop screwing around. Let's get into this video. J. Michelle out in Vegas. And this is why I was telling people, come to my channel. You know, when I made that comment on the professor's channel, I was like, come over to this channel. We got Vegas drivers over here. These Vegas drivers know what they're doing. Get over here. And instead, like I said, I was flagged. I was called spam. Well, spam kept you from making what this lady was making every week. I've never seen a total like this. 52 hours online. 52 hours online. And she drove way less than 52 hours guaranteed because she scouts rides she uses all the strategies we talk about on this channel she uses paw patrol she uses everything she's out there in vegas they got the f1 traffic they got construction going crazy stuff going on out there tourists always landing airport all jacked up stadium don't got good ride share areas and she still somehow managed to bang out literally a three thousand dollar week i ain't never seen it before this is the first time i've seen somebody make this much no events no crazy events in less than 52 hours like i said she drove way less than that but i appreciate her sending me this information and letting me know how she's doing out there and that you know she's a regular on the channel she comes on the channel she's been watching for a while she sent me an email a long time ago saying hey you know i'm out in vegas i'm trying to develop some strategies whatever this and that and i'll say hey check out the channel check out the videos this and that she looked at the videos took off and ran took off and ran just beyond my wildest dreams the lady was out there just getting it and I just want to let people know, you know, I show the real on this channel. I don't got time for no bullshit. I don't show, hey, if you get this Chinese app, you can do all this crazy. I don't show that shit. These are real people driving. I show real shit over here. No hypothetical shit. No, no, this is real. And so I appreciate Jay Marcel keeping us in the loop on how she's doing out in Vegas. And any Vegas drivers out there, like I said, drop comments, get into the live streams ask questions watch videos this is what we do this shit is all free education it's all free if you don't want it that's cool somebody else will take it because we like that we don't come out here asking uber for no we don't sit in the cars complaining and crying we don't ask for 17 dollars an hour we don't ask can you just give us an extra dollar 50 per no we don't ask for nothing we go out there and we take it because when they charging these riders a fare guess what they taking what they want out of it so we gonna take what we want out of it we're going to turn these apps on, go out there, get this money. We ain't taking no prisoners. That's not what we do around here. Around here, we look out for families. I'm not worried about the apps. I'm not trying to be nice to the apps. I'm not trying to sit up there and be like, oh, you know, maybe if we just gave the apps a chance and gave them enough. No, fuck all that. No, no. Go out there and get your money. Go get your money. Don't sit around and play games with these people. If you don't want to ride, you don't like the ride, the way it's set up, the structure of it, 50 cent a mile, dollar mile, you don't want it, don't take it. You're a contractor. You ain't the employee. You don't work for them. You work for you. You work for your family. You work for your friends. That's who you work for. You're a contractor. Go out there. Get money the way you know how. All right. It's about 6 o'clock Sunday night. I'm going to try to do a quick run, see if I can knock out the next 19 rides doing all short rides. If I can't, cool. But at least I'm going to give it a shot. I might have to fill up tonight because I know already, yeah, I'm not going to make it through all night. Not 19 rides. I can't do 19 rides in 100 miles. So I got to kind of probably gas up at about 50, 60 miles. Looks like I got a little surge in Tempe. I got some downtown Phoenix. Which way to go? Which way to go? I think I'm going to head over to Tempe first, check them out, do a couple of short student rides, then run downtown. See if I can knock out because if I can get about eight of them down there, I can go do the other 11 down here. They should all be short rides. And I don't knock out this little thing right here. Because like I said, I just need 19 more to hit the 70. Then the next 10 I got get the 60. We'll see how close I can come to getting that. I don't know. Let's go online real quick. Let's see what kind of shit they got coming down the pipe. Because we already know. They're going to start sending off some fucking 50 cent a mile rides right off the bat. First ride going to be like six bucks. Like, hey, you want a $6 ride for like nine miles? Mm, probably not. Let's keep everything under a, a few miles. Let's see how we can do this. Right, are you going to let me go? Come on, motherfucker, drive. What the fuck? It's like, either you going to let me go or you going to go. Make a goddamn choice. Motherfucker sitting there creeping and shit. It's like, you should have just kept going the same speed you was going. Shit. Motherfucker come out. They coming down the street. Oh, I see them, so I'm like, I'll just wait till they come by. So I'm just hanging out, hanging out. 
motherfucker wants to start creeping real slow like they about to stop so they can let me out and just creeps past the house told you first one six miles six dollars <laughs> told you uh, what do we do what do we do uh, let's take it all right i'll be just north or whatever so i just gotta whip back around and pick somebody up over on 46 that's cool let's do that then not a problem not a problem funny i wanted to come down to phoenix anyways for the surge either phoenix or tempe now as i was driving him they tried to give me a ride from where i am right now all the way back to tempe as you can see i'm not in any surge that's how i knew they were trying so i turned it on last ride real quick because i was like why they just get me down here and try to send me back to tempe because they got me bouncing in between surges so they don't have to pay me a surge that's their little trick right there they like to give you a ride when you don't have any surge on your phone bouncing you in between them that way they're getting all these fares paid but they ain't paying a driver shit so you put that shit on last ride they don't know what to do because they like okay this dude knows the game because he didn't just take that damn ride and it was like seven something dollars for like nine miles i was like nah because i just got down here i'm gonna go get surge down here while i'm down here they tried to send me back no surge or nothing i was like man i'm not accepting that shit you got to know how these apps work high ar motherfuckers be like oh i got a ride already cool cool i already got a ride it's not about having a ride already. It's about knowing where you are, trapping a surge in the area you're in, and milking that region for that surge before you go to the next region. They'll bounce you in between region all day with no surge if you take it. You'll be like, man, I ain't getting no surge nowhere because you allowing it. You got to stop letting them bounce you back and forth. Now I went online. Let's see if they take the surge away. Nope, not doing that one. Hell no. See, I got way down here and they took the surge away from me. They're trying to get me to go all the way back for $12 to go 14 miles. Nope, not even thinking about it. See, as soon as I turn the phone on, where'd the surge go? Oh, see, now they're going to give me a surge, $2 bonus. They tried to give me a ride before they gave me surge, though. Because I didn't. I don't think I saw surge on that last one. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't, but I didn't see it. But I was like, no, nah, give me some short shit while I'm down here. I don't want to keep bouncing back and forth, you know, up and down the highway. I'm not doing that. It's a lot of traffic and shit on the highways. And it's like, no, nah, I'd rather just do little small streets like this. Oh, you do like a mile, two miles, you get in surge, you know, probably six, seven dollars to go like three miles and just keep doing that shit all day. Because what they want to do is get people to drive for less than a dollar a mile, bouncing back and forth between like regions. And I don't do that. I find a region. I stay put. I do my shit. I'm like, this is as far as I'm going. And that's how you got to learn how to drive. You know, you got to be smarter with this shit. You got to know how to make it work. And a lot of drivers out there, they still haven't figured it out yet. And they're still complaining, you know, they want $17 an hour minimum wage. They, you know, they should be an average of a dollar a mile. I'm like, man, fuck all that. It's like, you got to know how to use these apps, man. Fuck these apps. They're going to play you like a sucker. If you if you go in that route, they know you don't know what you're worth. They're like, this dude has no idea what he, he can make, potentially. He's sitting there asking for a dollar a mile. He has no idea he could be making a lot more than that. That $9 to go back? No, I'm not doing that either. That's going like six, seven miles back in the other direction. I'm trying to stay in this area right here. I don't mind something like three, four miles. That was almost seven miles. That's twice as far as I want to really go right now. So I'm trying to stay in this area so I can keep some surge going. You know, what they like to do is even if you get one surge ride, they want to give you that one surge, but get you out of the surge so you can't do it again. I double up, triple up, quadruple up on these surges. Just keep them on every ride you can get. If they don't like it, that's their problem. Ain't got shit to do with you. They got to learn how to pay drivers better with no surge. If they did, we would be taking rides with no, like I used to do Lux rides, no surge, straight Lux, because it paid well. But now you got to use surge and shit. You got to use challenges and shit like that. Otherwise, I'm not messing with it because I wanted to come either Tempe or Phoenix. Now I'm down in Phoenix now. This is where I wanted to be. So let's make this shit happen. There's people leaving lunch, dinner, whatever the fuck. It's like, let's make this money while we down here. I still got a four dollar bonus let's see what they gonna give me because i'm coming up on like the little small like little club party district up here if they don't do something i'll just go over to uh, uber real quick and piss them off and i turn on uber they're gonna be like no 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 don't turn on uber man stay with us stay with us <laughs> as soon as i crank up uber these motherfuckers be sending me rides quick see i told you they see me cranking up uber right now come on thing what we got all right i'll take that wait a minute come on thing i'll take that that's a good ride right there. I like that one. That's the kind of shit I'll be looking for right there. But they caught me when I was passing the damn intersection, so now I got to turn around and go backwards. I can just cut right up through here. All right, I can cut right here. So I'm going to turn right here and cut around. I'm not going all the fucking way down there. Nope. 
So I could have, if they would have gave it to me sooner before I hit the damn intersection, I could have been fine. But no, nah, these raggedy motherfuckers like to give it to you as you're passing the intersection. It's like, come on, man. Quit tripping. Okay, now I'm down by the Arizona State Fair. That's why I just dropped them off. So I'm still in the surge zone. I'm down to Arizona State Fair. See if I can get a couple of rides down here. All the parking is $30, $40, $50, $25. So a lot of people are parked. Like, they just parked a mile away, and then they just kind of, you know, drove in. So what I want to do is I want to go back down here to see who all parking like kind of far away needing rides in. So I'm going to stay on the same street. I'm on McDowell. So I'm still stay on McDowell and I'm going, this parking down here is 15. So the farther I get, the cheaper the parking gets. So I'm going to go down a little bit further to see if anybody down here needs a ride all the way back. Cause they're parking like in front of people's houses and shit. And then they're just Ubering down. So it's like, okay, this is cool. I could just plug people and just take them back down to the state fair all night. Hopefully. If they don't try to send me some rides on the other side of town and shit like that. Let's see. Look at, I probably don't got no tips yet. I'm um, about to state fair. It's not going to have good reception yet. Yeah. That's Lips raggedy ass app from Wish. These motherfuckers. I'm like, come on, man. Upgrade y'all servers or some shit. I got one tip. That was last night. Yeah, that three bucks. So that was that little quick trip right there. It's three miles, $8.00. You know, a little over $2 a mile, so not too bad, not too bad. I like it. I could deal with that. Uh, where are we at? Two miles up the road, 350. Let's take it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it the easy way. I'm not hitting the highway. I'm going north. Yeah, right here. I'm going north. I'm not going south to hit the highway. Because they said five minutes faster. I don't give a shit about the minutes. It says I got 3.1 miles to go. If I go that way, it's 3.1 miles. Now, as soon as I turn, it should drop down to like 2.6 maybe. Maybe even 2.5. Let's see what it's going to say as it drops. It went up. Oh, they trying to get me to go backwards. I'm not going backwards, though. I'm going forward. <laughs> it's like, nope, I'm not turning around. We're going forward. There it is, 2.7. All right, much better, much better. All right, so I saved about a half a mile, but not a big deal. But like I said, with the way I drive, it don't make a difference what the time is. I'll get there sooner any fucking ways because I roll this shit. I don't mess around. It's like I stay my ass in the left lane. I don't play in the right lane. Nobody turning right. Nobody getting in front of me. I just stay over and I get it like that. So that was my last ride that I picked up and I just brought them back downtown. It was six miles. That was the one where I turned right instead. And then 16 bucks. So yeah, there we go. They gave me a $6 tip on that one. So that one kind of worked out. That would have been 10 bucks, but they ended up making it 16. So, all right, now I'm downtown. I got the SZA concert tonight. So let's see what we can do. Hopefully I can get some rides out of here, but it's going to be pretty busy, right? I think I'm sitting in a bonus zone right now. $9 street. Yeah, I'm not worried about that, but I want to get these surges out the way. I just got to get from downtown. It's crazy busy down here right now. So I'm trying to get out of here. That was a quick little easy trip right there. I've done like two trips already. And these are my quick little trips that I've been doing right here. Like this is the last one I just dropped the guy off. It was like almost four miles for eight bucks. And that had like a little uh, streak with a 250 bonus with it. It was 557. Then before that one, it was this one here. I took these people, it was three miles, almost $2 a mile right there too. And so one more and I get that uh, $9. But so far, I've only done seven rides today, and I have to do 19, so I gotta do 12 more rides. It's only eight o'clock, up 7.30. 12 more rides, I could do that. And then hit the other bonus, gotta be 10. So 22 more rides by seven, I could do 25 rides starting at like 9.30, 10 o'clock at night. Cause I can just bang out a whole, so, and I started a little earlier, so it's like, this is gonna be super easy to hit this bonus. So I got 450, they probably send me something like $16 for like 19 miles. That, that'll probably be my next ride. $16 for like 19 miles. Because they like to do that shit on your last street. They give you a nature hike. So right now, I'm just kind of cruising around downtown right now. They're not going to send me nothing until I kind of move up a little bit. I got to turn on Uber. So once I turn on Uber, they're going to say, oh, shit, he's online. And then they're going to try to send me a ride because they don't want Uber to send me something. See, so watch this. So as soon as I start finagling with this system, they're going to try to send me a lift ride. So now that I got Uber about to hit, they're gonna be like, oh shit, he's online, send him a ride, send him a ride. I'm like, nope. So now let me go back to Uber Pet again. Like, cause I just got Uber running. Like, I, I'm not doing any rides. I'm using Uber for the Wi-Fi connection right now because Uber kind of 
jogs the system because they keep searching and searching and searching. And so what Lyft does, Lyft goes, oh shit, he's on Uber right now. And so they keep trying to send me rides so Uber don't get my car. So I just let Uber run in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers like, look at how many hours you were online for Uber. Well, I was online for Lyft, really messing with Lyft. He's like, that's what I do sometimes. I, I'll turn one app on just to mess with the other one. So it's like, I'm not really driving. I just want the other one to think that I'm driving for that app. So they'll send me some fucking rides. <laughs> you got to trick the system sometime with these motherfuckers. All right, so I'm sitting downtown, taking a break. Tonight is the Scissor concert. Told you, that's what you do sometimes. Look at that, $17. For 17 miles. What did I tell you? Yeah, I told you for the last ride, they always send you on a fucking nature hike on your last ride. But I don't do nature hikes. That's why you don't see my my rides uh, disappearing. So I still got one more ride left. And I know you're probably asking, well, how come you didn't end the streak? I told y'all, man, we do Harriet Tubman shit around here. All y'all motherfuckers gotta do is just email me. Be like, Jeff, tell me how you keep your streak going when they send you fucking nature hikes and you don't want them. Harriet Tubman, dog. Harriet Tubman. Y'all motherfuckers know that's, that's the cold word right there, Harriet Tubman. Don't be posting that shit in my comments. Don't be trying to tell everybody, oh, this is how you do it. No, I'll delete that fucking comment off my channel quick as shit. We Harriet Tubman. We do shit underground. If you want to know, send me a message. Send me an email. I always put my email in my video descriptions now so people stop asking me, well, what's your email address? I don't even answer the motherfuckers no more. <laughs> it's like, so I'm like, I put it in the video description and I say it in the video. I'm like, ubergeepaz at gmail.com. What's your email address? ubergeepaz at gmail.com what's your email at? i'm like god damn man i say this shit every fucking video help me out man i'm trying to keep this shit moving let's go let's go but yeah it's gonna be the scissor concert tonight we got all these black suvs everywhere out here making fucking bank i love it man i love it so hopefully they don't send me another fucking nature hack like they just tried to do me let me go back in uber again open up uber that way i'm gonna make them think i'm trying to go on uber they're gonna be like no no don't drive for uber dog drive for us make sure i ain't get no tips in this motherfucker last night nope dollar 75 surges that's it rag a muffin motherfuckers all right so i got this 430 surge oh, let me wipe my car down while i'm out here this shit's looking dusty as a motherfucker this shit looking dusty as a motherfucker yeah lift is starting to throttle me now i done wiped the whole car down no other ride came through yet so that that lets you know why you can't start going for these challenges and quests and shit like that they'll start throttling your rides to make sure you don't get the shit these motherfuckers are so goddamn phony oh yeah come drive for lift you're gonna make so much yeah if y'all motherfuckers quit throttling me you raggedy bastards these raggedy motherfuckers don't want you to make no money they just fucking with people that's all They'll tell you, yeah, come drive with Lyft. You can earn up to, yeah, earn up the shit. That's what you can earn up to. They'll throttle your motherfucking ass down. Oh, I can go get gas. I only got 75 miles left. Remember, I left the house. I had like, like 100 miles or something. I'm only down to like 75. <laughs> like, so I'm about to, I'm just right up under a quarter of a tank. So while I'm fucking with them, waiting on they slow ass, I'm gonna go fucking fill this motherfucker up real quick. That'll buy me a little time right there. Cause once this concert shit starts picking up, going a little quicker, I'm not going to want to stop. All right, there we go. What, 57, almost like 13 gallons. Let's see how much we can make out of this. Hold up for a second. Let's go look and see exactly how many miles I got till empty now. Let's see, what do we got? Come on, thing. Act right. Where are we at? 388. All right, so I'm about 388 miles. No problem. 751. Let's go out and make this money. All right, I still got that bonus sitting on lift right now because they're, like I said, they're throttling me. They're not giving me another ride because I didn't take the nature hike for one. And now they're mad that I didn't take the nature hike, but I'm still like kind of chilling downtown. So they're like, yeah, we're going to try to get his ass. It's like, I got something for y'all though. Because what I'm going to do where I'm, I can head back to Tempe. Yeah, I can do that. I can head back to Tempe real quick. I can just go straight down Van Buren and probably get there a lot quicker. Let's do that. I'm going to U-turn right here and go back down Van Buren. Yeah, that way. I don't use, I don't, I was going to go hit the highway and all that shit. I ain't worried about the highway. I'm just going to drive straight through because Van Buren will get me there the easy way. Without all these motherfucking red lights like this one. But what if, what if. So I'm actually going to see, let me see, what's Uber doing on this side over here? Uber do, like a motherfucker. Yep, I just got Uber just running in the background. 
Yep, tips are coming through. Yep, airport is sitting like I said, Uber ain't got no surge going whatsoever. Airport don't fucking count. But yeah, they got like garbage shit every fucking where. Nothing real is, is out there. So we're gonna see exactly what we can do. Uh, no, I'm just gonna go offline real quick. I've been running them long enough. Been running them long enough. So I'm gonna kind of get away from downtown just a little bit. Cause what they're gonna try to do is as soon as I start getting up here, they're gonna try to send me a fucking um a ride. So once they try to send me a ride, it's gonna be behind me. Cause that's what they do. They let you get far away, and then they say, okay, this'll work now because he's this far away. The person hit wait and save instead of it being like an immediate car right there. So Jeff, go back two miles to pick up somebody for fucking three miles. And we'll give you eight dollars for five miles or some weird shit like that. Nine dollars for five miles. They do that shit all the fucking time. And after a while, you start realizing what they're doing. You're like, why'd you wait until I got a mile and a half, two miles down the road to send me back where I just was? Take somebody three miles. You don't give me like eight or nine dollars for it. It's like, man, y'all motherfuckers are backwards. They do that shit all the time. And that's how I know, you know, they got the algorithm set because once you figured it out, a human can't keep doing the same shit over and over. A human is not that smart. So this has to be like an algorithm doing that shit. Like it's a program they set saying, wait until a person is at least two miles away and then give them the ride. I could be right across the street from some fucking body, but because I'm on my last ride, I'm doing all this shit, they're trying to make profits off of this because they know I get $9, plus I'm gonna get the 450. That's already 1350 I'm getting, plus whatever the ride is. I'm not gonna get a tip because they gonna steal the tip because I done made too much money off of them. So they're gonna be like, well, why give him a tip? You just gave his ass like 30 fucking dollars for a ride that was like two miles. So just keep the fucking tip. Don't even give it to him. And that's why we gotta keep using these QR codes to keep cash out of Uber and Lyft's fucking hands. Because the moment you give them cash, they mishandle it. They don't know how to do it. So we gotta keep promoting people to, to use these QR codes, get cash in hand, cash app, Venmo, Zelle, something. Because trusting these apps with our money is not where the shit is. It's not where it's at. They're not doing it right. They're not doing it right. And then on top of that, the app is going to throttle me to make sure that I don't hit those uh, bonus rides at the end of the night. Because I got to hit how many more rides? I got 14 more rides to get. 14 more rides. And then I get the $70. And that's easy. It's only 7 o'clock. 14 more rides. I could do that shit even from like midnight to 4. I could do 14 rides. So this is easy right here. I can end up with the, the 24 rides where I get all the money. But they're trying to throttle me to wear out some of my clock. Because they're like, okay, he's getting too close. We need to start shaving off some time. So either they're going to shave off time by throttling me. Or they're going to shave it off by sending me on nature hikes. They got to figure something out. I'm doing way too many short rides for them to keep up. Like I said, I've only been out for a couple hours. I already did seven rides already. So trust me, 14 rides, I can knock that shit off in a matter of a few hours if they send them to me and they know that shit. So they're like, don't send them. Do not send them rides. They're going to try to send me downtown again in a second. They're going to say, hey, go back downtown and pick up this person. But once I get this far, I'm going to start going towards Tempe. I'm not going back downtown. Yeah, I'm still on Lyft right now, but I turned Uber on to see what they got to offer. Lyft is still throttling me. It was just nine miles from South Third. Nope, not doing that. Not for no $13. Because that's actually the concert. They're leaving the concert at that time at night. So they got three fifty dollars sitting at the airport. Nothing else anywhere else. This little screwy trip, that one's gone. Like I said, Lyft is not doing anything right now. Lyft, Lyft has literally throttled me. They're holding me back from getting this fucking streak bonus and that 475 bonus. They don't know what to fucking do. But the last rider tipped me two bucks. They probably tipped me five and Lyft kept fucking three. Liv was like, we got to get some money out of this guy. Like almost four miles for 10 bucks, still $2 a mile. $2 tip, knowing damn well I didn't get no $2. They probably tipped me $5 for that shit. But like I said, this is what these motherfuckers are doing, man. They're, they know they're struggling right now. They're struggling real bad because they if they would have left Lux on a the platform, they'd be eating right now. Let's see what the fuck we've done during the week. Six hours, 360, almost 60 bucks an hour, close to. Lyft is losing $43 on me right now. They're losing 43. When I did Lux, look at my last week when I did Lux. Let's go like this. Let's see something. That was last week when I did Lux. Look at how much they made 113 on me. They made 113. And I did what? 16 hours of book time for a grand. 16 hours of book time for a grand. 
and they made $113 on me. This week, because they took Lux off, they're losing $43 on me. And I've only been driving for six hours. So that tells you right there. That tells you right there. And if I double that, that'll be like 13 hours. 13 hours to put me at 720. So I'm making the same amount of money pretty much. Because look, last week, 16 hours to make a grand. 16 hours to make a grand is roughly about, mm, that's how much, let's say, let's go like this real quick. One, two, three, about 16. $62 an hour. So $60 an hour. This week I'm at 360 divided by like six and a half. So let's say 360 divided by 6.5. 55. So I'm making a little less per hour right now. I'm making seven dollars less per hour, but Lyft is losing money on me. They went from they went from making 113 to losing 43. Now if they're losing 43. I can triple that number. If I triple that number, you triple that number. So they'd be losing about 120. They go from making 120 to losing 120. That's a $240 turnaround. There is a $240 variance because they went from making everybody letting everybody drive Lux to making everybody drive Lyft. They getting their ass handed to them and they know it. That's why they gotta steal tips just to fucking survive. They they getting their ass handed to them. And Uber over here sending me probably a bunch of fucking bullshit. That's why they're not sending me now, because they know I ain't taking nothing. They're like, dude, don't give it to him. He, he's going to just decline it. And I done had Uber running pretty much all day since I've been out, but they haven't done anything. And since they're throttling me, like I said, I might go home and, and shower, not shower, shave my head real quick. Because I showered and got out of there. I just didn't feel like shaving, because I'm like, yeah, but now I'm getting a little stubbly up here. I might have to go do that, do that. But these motherfuckers, man, like I said, they need to figure it out. Lip needs to seriously figure it out because they're getting their ass handed to them right now and they don't even know what to fucking do. They're like, dude, how do we how do we make a comeback on these drivers? We're not getting anything. Like I said, my next ride, they got they're gonna try to send me on a nature hike. It's gotta be at least nine, ten miles for them to make any money. Cause they're gonna charge the rider like almost three, four dollars a mile. And they're gonna try to pay me like about a dollar fifty a mile, even with the surge and all the shit added. And that way they can make a profit on the next ride they give me. I'm going to make sure they don't. I'm going to make sure they don't make shit on the next ride. It's going to be about a two, three, four, five mile fucking ride. And I'm going to get the 475 with the ride, then the $9 on top of that. They're going to lose money on the next ride, I guarantee. Because I'm not, I'm not taking no fucking prisoners. And they know now that I understand how these apps fucking work. And that's why they scared of drivers like me. They want to get drivers like me off the app, get some new driver on, and hey, you want to make a lot of money with Lyft? Yeah, they're going to throttle you, fuck with you. But first, they're going to give you challenges and they're going to give you good money up front to get you linked into the crack. So once you on the fucking crack and you're like, man, this was cool. I downloaded $250 a day. Woo. I downloaded $300 this day. Woo. You get addicted to the fucking crack. And now they're going to start playing your ass. Instead of you downloading that much, you're going to be working twice the amount of hours to download that much. You're like, man, I was downloading $300 in like six, seven hours. Now it's taking me like fucking 12 hours to get $300. Like, yeah. Well, see, they couldn't make me a crackhead, so they don't know what to fucking do. Four miles for that? No. It's like, no. Ain't nobody trying to do no fucking four miles. Uber's on some other shit. Tell you what, we're going to turn Uber off anyways. They ain't sending nothing. They ain't sending nothing. And Lyft, like I said, this is probably my time to go. It's only 8 o'clock, and usually I don't start driving till 9. So I already been out for a minute getting some money on their ass. So I could probably take off, go home check on the dogs real quick, shave, and then get a ride. That's how long this motherfucker's throttle me. I could do all of that shit and then get a ride. That's how bad Lyft is. <laughs> I could cook a motherfucking casserole. Like, man, what the fuck you mean? I'll make this motherfucking peanut butter casserole. Fucking, if it's even a, such a fucking thing, I'm gonna make me some peanut butter casserole. What the fuck is that? Bunch of peanut butter sandwiches in the jar and throw that shit in the oven. Fuck a peanut butter casserole. These motherfuckers throttle the shit out of you. So yeah, let me. I'm just down down on mill right now. So probably run home real quick. I'm not too far from home. Cause they ain't got shit jumping anyway. So I'm gonna get the fuck up out of here. Go home. Hopefully they don't send me a ride. Cause that means I can't go home and shower or shave. I keep saying shower. Fuck shave, shave. Cause usually I shave when I'm in the shower. That's the thing. But today I was like, nah. I'm gonna get out of here and try to knock these rides out real quick. But I'm like, shit, let's go ahead and do it. Let's do it.
got back in the car again. I just got through eating and everything. And I still got that same 475, and I'm on my third ride of the street. Look what time it is. It's been almost two hours. They The airport was up to like $19 surge. <laughs> they won't send me a ride for a shit. This is what Lyft does. They surge the hell out of you when they get mad at you. Like It's, it's been almost two hours since I got a Lyft ride. I came home, ate every fucking thing. I still got fucking 380 miles on my fucking tank. It's like, man, these motherfuckers is mad. I know these are probably all downtown rides. They got that uh, concert tonight, that scissor concert. North 5th, that's at 3.45 in the morning. North 5th to the airport, 3.45 in the morning. Hmm, do I want to be downtown at 3.45? Do I want to be downtown at 3.45? Fuck, let's take it for now. Let's take it. If I don't want it, then I'll end up canceling it. But let's take it for now. All right, what else do we got in here? Bunch of nothing. All right. The D-backs games. Yeah, yeah. Love it, love it. Let's do it. D-backs game. Y'all could do it, D-backs. D-bags. <laughs> all right, yep. And I still got Uber running on Pet Patrol. I, I didn't have both of these apps running all day just for the fuck of it, just to see what would happen. And I get nothing on nothing. I just like to keep it on Pet Patrol just so I can see what surge pops up. Like, I don't care about the online time. I just like to run it. Because as soon as the surge pops up in the area, I don't know where it is in real time. But when your app is turned off, it don't show you shit in real time. You got to turn your app on to see where it is. So, yeah, my, my online hours are going to be running like crazy this week. Because I just leave that shit on. All right, where are we at now? Okay, we're way over here. Hmm, I can go back downtown Tempe. They ain't really surging in Tempe. They say they're surging. You go down there, it ain't shit down there. Ain't no fucking rides down there. But downtown, this is going to start up in a couple hours, about 11 o'clock. So I'm, I'm going to definitely end up downtown around 11 o'clock. I won't be on Lyft. I'll probably be on UberX because they're going to pay a whole lot better. But about to listen to me some music, cruise for a little bit. Shit, let's make it happen. Let's start leaving my house and guess what? I got a hit. Let's go and pick a motherfucker up. Let's go do this shit real quick. See what we can get going on. Let's see. So this is what the bullshit is. They sat up there and updated the fucking app. She updated her ride. And because she updated her ride, I didn't get the fucking 450 bonus or the $9 streak. Because she updated her fucking ride. So no, I'm not doing that shit. Y'all fucking stupid for that. I'm going offline now. Taking my ass back home. Fuck them. Yeah, because they sat there and did that shit. I, I sat there, had a ride. It was like probably five miles, like $10, five miles total. Then she updated the ride to be like 18 fucking miles. 18 miles. I was like, hell. And it said uh, $6.25 increase. I'm like, what? I went from going like maybe six miles total to going 18 miles. And it was going to end up being like 16. I'm like, fuck no. Fucking nope. Decline that shit quick as a motherfucker. Nope, cancel that motherfucker. And like I said, I lost my $9, my last part of the streak. Then I lost the $4.75 I had sitting on there. I'm done with it for the fucking day. Because I, I want this real quick shot. And I would have stayed driving with they monkey ass. But no, what they do, they just pulled this shit on me. Had me go picking, trying to go pick somebody up right around the fucking corner. And all of a sudden, it went from that shit to, okay, instead of just five miles up the road just north of the highway, now it's 18 fucking miles. Fuck no. Hell no. It's like, man, I canceled that shit so fucking quick, I'm gonna take my ass back home to the fucking concert start. I'm driving Uber X for the rest of the night. Fuck these motherfuckers. All right, it's about 2.43 in the morning. I gotta start getting ready for my Uber stuff. Like I said, I, last night after Lyft did that shit, I just came back home. I didn't even go down to the concert or nothing. I said, fuck it, I'm gonna take me a nap. So I slept till about probably 1.30, 2 o'clock this morning. So I got this at 345, this at 435, this at 510. So I got three rides left. That's about $60 right there. Hopefully I can get some tips from that 60. If I get five each, I can make it up to 75, possibly 80, 85 dollars with that. So that'll help out. I haven't done any rides on Uber today. These were all rides that were early, early in the morning when I was ending my night last night. So that was the 2017, the 20. And then the 367, the 2842. So all of these rides right here, the entire Friday, 
comes from when I was wrapping my night up last night. So that, that 90 doesn't count for today. It says it, but you no, know, only, only thing I did today was lift. And on lift, I actually made, uh, what, $73 today. So all this is from today, 73. So I get the $73 on lift today because I started that earlier tonight. So I get the 73 plus if I can make this about, let's say 70, about $140. I can make about $140, $150 a day. And I didn't work that many hours. It says four hours, but I didn't drive four hours. That was me sitting on, they, if you look at the video, you see how they throttled my ass. For well over two hours, they throttled me and didn't give me a ride. <laughs> so all that was just online time. I was like, shit, I came home and sat in the house. I was like on YouTube. Ooh, I got a great idea for YouTube. Woo, man. I don't know if I want to drop it on this video or the next one, but I'm going to do it. I got a great idea. You guys are going to love this shit. It's going to be hilarious. But let me get my day started. Lip, you can tell it is 2.45 in the morning. Lip has surge all over the place. Nobody wants to drive for Lyft. When you see surge like this, that means the, the demand for rides is probably higher than the actual drivers in that area. Even they know drivers are going to come to that area. So what they do is they start, start throwing surge up to all the places where they think people have airport rides and shit like that. Start throwing and nobody's taking these rides. Nobody's like, nope. Because I know me. I was kicking out rides all day yesterday on Lyft. They just weren't there. They just weren't good. So let me turn my heat on. It is 63 degrees outside right now. Jesus Christ. I need the heat on. I'm going to turn on my heated seats. I'm getting everything going today. Let's get it. Let's get it. So I got everything on high. Got my heated seats on. All right. Let me go through here to make sure the air doesn't come on. Man, it is. Whew. I'm going to have to start wearing like some kind of cargo pants or something like that. Because I like cargo shorts because I got my pockets and everything. But I might have to start wearing cargo pants, man. It's like this shit's nuts. All right. Turn off the AC real quick. All right. Let's turn that temperature up. Hot. There we go. Yeah, but let me get out here and see if I can make some of this money. Like I said, I got to turn on Uber before they start sending me messages going, get online. Let me see. I got well, Uber pets. So they don't send me nothing. There we go. There we go. 10 hours and 48 minutes. I know it. I haven't even taken a ride today. Shut up. Oh, that was from earlier this morning. My bad. That's what they said. I got 10 hours left. Like, what if? What if? I ain't worried about you ragamuffins waiting on my airport reservation to start and then they sent me a quick ride to the airport already this one's like 15 bucks right here it's got a um 750 surge on it to go pick up somebody to the airport so it's 750 for 750 so i'm like fuck it i'll take it like like i said i'm already going to the airport anyway so i'm gonna go run down here drop them off at the airport get this hopefully they tip me then shoot back this is like 15 bucks i wasn't even focusing on tonight so let me go pick these people up real quick they're right around the corner from where i was sitting i was sitting over here editing videos i'm trying to drop this new video so i'm editing this motherfucker in this goddamn walgreens parking lot and shit so i'm gonna go over here pick them up get them to the airport head back because i gotta come pick up my next appointment okay i just dropped off my reservation at the airport my next one is on north 44th street which is just above the airport so I only got to drive up like four miles, pick them up and bring them back. And it's at 435 and it's 350 right now. So I'm going to head up there, sit somewhere and finish editing my video. In here at Circle K doing my video edits and then my reservation just popped up. It's not till 435, but I'm only two minutes away from it. So I'm going to wait till about probably 430 before I start heading down there. So I'm going to edit videos for about another 20 minutes before I head down there because I'm Excuse me, I'm not about to head down there right now. I'm just going to sit here and edit videos for a while. As it is, I love, you know, reservations because it gave me some time and everything. But no, nah, I'm not I'm not showing up early. Not not for tonight. Any other night when I'm not editing videos when I'm out, I'll show up early to see if the person is ready. But usually they come out when it's actually ready to, you know, their reservation is set. So I'm just going to chill for a minute. Kobe at the airport and as soon as I dropped her off my other one lined up right behind it so I gotta go pick up Bill now I don't know what time his reservation starts because it just I mean it booted right up what time is it now it's 4 45 so he must be the 5 10 let's see something yep 5 10 all right cool cool so I got what 15 25 minutes but I only got seven minutes to go so I got an 18 minute span so I'm gonna go park up here right where I was and I'm going to finish doing some video edits and everything. Then I'll shoot over there and pick up Bill. Because like I said, all these hotels in the morning at the airport, they get nervous. Because they don't think anybody's going to pick them up in the morning. So they all set reservations. 
I live by the airport, so I take all of them. <laughs> I don't have to go nowhere. I'm just like sitting at home. I'm like, okay, I'm at home. Let's start just packing on the reservations then. It's like easy money for somebody that lives by the airport because each ride is like $15, $20. So you might as well just do it. I mean, if you do 10 of them, I could do 10 of them at like four or five miles a piece. And that's in order between 40 and 50 miles. And even if you had to double that to say, you know, because you got to drive to them and this and that back and forth, it's about 80 miles. So about 80 miles, you can make like $150 off of 80 miles. And if each person can tip you up to the point where it's almost, let's say, $25 and you're doing 10 of them, that's $250 in 80 miles. So you're basically making $3 a mile just doing reservations all morning and you're not going nowhere. 80 miles is like less than a quarter of a tank. Less than a quarter of a tank, you know, that's four, that's $1,000. 250 times four is $1,000 and all you're doing is 10 airport rides every morning. You do 10 airport rides every morning, make $1,000 off one tank of gas and you ain't went but what? 80 times four, 320 miles. 320 miles, you've made $1,000. So it's, it's possible, you know what I'm saying? You just got to do the math behind it. Keep throwing the numbers out there. Get the numbers lined up right and then say, okay, I'm going to estimate this is what I want to do. Forecast and budget. This is a business. You got to do some analytics with it. Without analytics, you're not going to make it in ride share. You have to analyze these transactions and you got to run this shit right. All right, just dropped off Bill. That was my last ride for the night. That was it. I'm pretty much done. Look at that. Oh, I got a tip down here. $4. That was my earlier one right there when I was down on North 5th. So pick that up. $4 tip. Thank you. I appreciate that. Out of 40 trips, I only completed 30. Who gives a shit? Y'all wasn't paying nothing anyways. <laughs> you dusty motherfuckers wasn't paying nothing but like $40 for 40 trips or something weird like that. But I got the other two airports. So that was my airports all out the way right there. That was a 345 one. Got that out the way. Then dropped down to these two. So not bad. Not bad. I said 40 bucks on the day and that'll be going because like I said my other money was on Sunday so it ended so that'll be going on to the last week's pot right there so that's at 861 plus about three something so yeah I made you know 861 and I don't know what I made on Lyft last week hold up for a second 861 and let me open up Lyft real quick 861 plus whatever you rag a motherfuckers Let's go this way. Let's see weekly. 861 plus about 362. Alright, so that's about twelve hundred dollars right there. About twelve twenty, something like that. So about twelve twenty right there. How much did Liv lose on me? Forty-three dollars they lost on me over the week. Alright, not bad. Twelve twenty. You know, didn't put in a whole lot of hours, but still, I came out good. I put in six hours over here, like six and a half hours over this way. So I was running almost $60 an hour on this end. On Uber, they don't tell you how many hours you put in, but I drove for 27 and made 861. I mean, I was online for 27, not drove for 27. I was online for 27, 28. Let's call it 28. I can't call it 27. All right, so 28. And like I said, I probably drove with scouting and everything how I am, probably about, you know, 15 hours maybe because that one big nine hour day right here that nine hours that I wasn't even online I just left Paw Patrol running all day by mistake. So it wasn't really that So you take about nine hours off that 27 you drop down till about, you know, 18 hours So 18 hours online like for real But then I had to you know do all my scouting So I probably did this in about 14 hours Probably 861 in about 13 14 hours or something like that so, hey, shit happens, man. Like I said, I keep Paw Patrol running. I run everything in the background. I do whatever I do. You got to make this money somehow. I just make sure I don't log a lot. And that was only in 43 trips. So I'm averaging over $20 a trip right there. Not bad, not bad. All right, it's Monday. What, 9-16. That's what I got left over from the weekend. Almost a full tank of gas. I ended my Sunday right there. So I'm about to go downtown, see if I can do some of this D-backs game stuff. And hey, let's see what we can do. In the meantime, let's see what Lyfts has going. Just had them a second ago, all right. So Lyfts got a lot of surge going downtown. Let's see what Uber's got. Come on, man, let's go. Oh, that was an Uber right there. That was an Uber right there. I just saw an Uber, man. All right, come on, slow ass fucking phone. Jeez. All right, 
So Uber, let me turn it on. I still got it on Uber Pet. Yep, Uber Pet. Cool, cool. What the hell? This shit's moving slow as hell. Alright, so I can go sell. I can go up Broadway Southern. I can go swing at that five dollars. Or let me see what kind of reservations they got out. Uh 250 in the morning, $13 for five miles. Nope. Not doing it. Let's hear them get that one just off my list altogether. I don't want to see it again. Don't want it. Alright, so. That's what I got. I got $40 left over from early this morning. And yeah, that's it. That's it. There's no other surge out there that I really I'm looking forward to going to go get. I mean, Tempe has a little bit going on. Downtown has some going on. So that's where I'm headed to right there. Let's go get it. I'm about to play me some music and cruise. Coming right up on the base right now. Let me see if I can turn on this. Wait, let me see what I got up in here. I got like a little, what they got? Six dollars for three. I ain't worried about that shit. I'll turn this on now and see what kind of rides they're gonna throw at me. See what kind of shit they got coming down the pipe right now. What we got? Yeah, nature act like a motherfucker. Twenty-seven miles for twenty-two dollars. Yeah, we're not doing that. Don't think so. I don't live up that way, and I'm not gonna be up there stuck all night for twenty-two dollars. Now I gotta come all the way back. I end up making like eight dollars on a night. Twenty-nine miles for twenty-three dollars. Yeah, nah. I said they need to get like an XL or something like that to take them up there. Ain't no regular driver taking them up there. 24 miles, $20. Look at that, three in a row. Three nature hikes in a row. This is the shit they own tonight. They trying to get them nature hikes out of there early because they know we waiting around. $11 for like eight miles? Nah, cool on that shit. We're looking for $2 a mile because that was even with a 475 bonus. So they already, look at that. 0.9, like that's nine miles for $12. Yeah, let's turn Liv off real quick. Liv's is not ready yet. They're not ready. We got to wait until they go through the system real quick. They got to go through a few rides to get some shit out of the queue so we can, like, do our short trips. Because right now they're not doing too well. So we're going to turn them off real quick. We'll go over to Uber and see what Uber's got. Because like all they got is nature hikes and dumb shit. It's like, no, I'm cool on that. Uber got, what, 225 next trip? Yeah. I still got uh, Uber Pet on right now. But let's see some. Let's see what they got over here. 225 ain't enough to worry about anyways. Let's see what they got over here. Yep, all the cars are starting to build up. I can see them. $24 for 20 miles. $16 for like 20 miles. $13 for like nine miles. $13 for nine. Damn. $13 for like, man, this is crazy. $16 for 20 yeah, 13 for 9. No, we're not doing that. Yeah, I just got down here. I'm not ready to leave yet. I just got here. The party ain't even started yet, and they're trying to get rid of me already. Oh, damn. Look at that. $19 for 24 miles. Almost over 25 miles. Yeah. Look at that. $19 for 25 miles. Yeah, you know better. Pull that shit back real quick. $25 for 23 miles. Six dollars for about five miles. Yeah, let's turn Uber off real quick. They're not ready yet. Yeah, because right now nobody's got nothing going on, so I'm just gonna kick back, listen to me some music for a second. I'll holler at y'all in a minute. Yeah, just went back online and they have to do the same shit. Twenty-three dollars for like twenty-four miles. Nope, don't think so. All these nature hikes, they do this shit quick. They be trying to get these motherfuckers out the way quick. They're like, hey man, somebody's got to take them. $18 for over 15 miles? Nah, we're cool on that shit. Screen's kind of messing up. Let's go back in real quick. Let's see something. Yep, there we go. The screen was kind of jagging around. Let's do this real quick. $6 surge. What else we got? We got something like four or five mile trip. What do we got? $25 for over 28 miles? Nah, we cool on that shit. Everybody's like, man, we need to get a ride home. Let's hurry up and get online. Ain't nobody taking that shit. No, no. $12 for like almost eight miles. Nah. Yeah, we're looking for something like three, four miles. Somebody's got to have a short trip somewhere around here. $20 for almost 22 miles. Nah. We don't care about that. Like I said, the streak don't matter. It's only like $6. Like, I ain't worried about no fucking $6. $16 for 13 miles. Don't think so. 
like I said, all these trips ain't worth shit. They just not. 26 minutes, that's probably like a 35 mile trip. $16 for almost 14 miles, doubt it. Not leaving my spot, I just got here. This is where me and King James was hanging at one night. I'm sitting in the same spot. $11 for like four miles, eh. doubt it. Let's not do that. I don't want to go four miles now. Not for that. Give me like 13, 14, 15, something like that. $12 for seven miles. Doubt it. Because I got a $6 bonus and they not paying me nothing with this $6 bonus. Like these trips ain't worth shit. With a $6 bonus, it should at least be $2 a mile. Look at that. $10. They're giving me like, what, $8 for like 10 miles pretty much. It's like, no, no, we're not doing that. I mean, at least kind of balance. This is a game. This is an event right now. So fares got to be a little bit higher for an event. $16 for 14 miles. Nope. Not doing it. This is stay in the streak zone. Nobody cares about the streak zone. $15 for almost 14 miles. Nope. We're at an event right now. If you ain't paying for the event, ain't nobody leaving. $19 for almost 21 miles. Nope. <laughs> My AR gonna fucking tank. These people, they they have no idea what the hell they doing. Twenty-one dollars for almost twenty-four miles. Nope. This is these are horrible rides. Hard. This is lift right now. This is lift. Sixteen dollars for fifteen miles. Nope. Don't think so. And lift is pay they're charging people World Series like prices right now. Surge fare for the World Series, and this is surge fare for the World World Series right now on lift. Because we got the D-backs playing the Texas Rangers right now, right behind me, at the stadium behind me. And this is what they're giving people. $9, uh, $13 for nine miles. This is World Series, fuck. And I guarantee these people are paying $50, $60 to get out of here. Lip really thought they was going to make some money. Look at this shit. All this shit's garbage. Let's do like this real quick. Let's just go offline. Because Lip's not ready yet. Like I said, the World Series just fucking is underway right now. And this is what they're paying drivers. I'm like, there's all black SUVs sitting on the other side of the street. There ain't nobody going nowhere. Let's see what Uber's got going. Got a dollar fifty surge. Let's see if they're gonna at least give me two dollars a mile for something. At least two dollars a mile. Yeah, there's people walking up to their cars right here. Twenty-four for twenty-three. Nope. Nineteen for nineteen. Sixteen for eighteen. Fourteen for almost twenty. Seven forty-nine for three. Nope. Nope, nope. Yep, they got they ride across the street. They ready to rock and roll. Was all these trips are garbage. World Series might be a bus for me, man. This might be a bus. I might just have to call it good, pack this shit up and go home. Twenty-two dollars for it, like eighteen miles. Nah, we cool on that shit. Look, this is World Series right here. Y'all gotta come up with it. This shit is like you know. Super Bowl, anything else, and these are the fucking prices they paying right here. Like $16 for like 14 miles, $9 for like almost 10 miles, $9 for almost 7 miles, $6.55 for over 5 miles, $10.62 for almost 7 miles. Nah. These are not these are not World Series prices right now. I know they're charging riders quite a bit to get home. I know they are. Because that's what they do at these big events like Super Bowl, you know, FIFA Cup, all this weird shit. This is what they charge people. They sitting there paying drivers like a dollar something a mile. Ain't nobody going home. Fuck no. They're going to be sitting here for a minute waiting on a ride. Look at that. That one's right there, $2 a mile. $27 to go to Tempe. Oh, we should take that. Let's, let's see if we'll get it. No, I don't want that. Oh, that request's not available anyways. And thirteen dollars for that, fifteen dollars for eighteen miles. The Tempe ride was pretty good, but the rest of them, nah. These rides are garbage. So some driver came out good and got that Tempe ride, but most of these are like not even worth it. Not even worth it. UberX Priority. It's like almost eleven miles for sixteen dollars, and it says plus three fifteen included for priority pickup. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Okay. That's another one, UberX Priority, plus $315 included. So it's really $12 for like almost 19 miles. So it's $15.56 for 19 miles, but they're giving you a $1.50 surge plus $315 for priority. So really they're giving you like $10 for that trip. 
It's like, ain't nobody doing that shit. No, no. It's like, we'd rather not. Let's see what else they got in here. $13 for 17 miles. Nope. Still got the Uber X Priority sitting up there. Yeah, nobody's going for this shit. Let's see what we got. $12 for like 18 miles. 19, rather. Oh, shit. They made me hit the wrong thing. I was trying to hit the next, and they fucking... That's what they tricked me with. I was trying to hit the fucking next, and that shit tricked me and fucking did that. I'm not picking nobody up for that fucking price. No, doubt it. Hit the button by mistake, goddammit. They moved the fucking the trip filter button out the way when I was touching it. It's like, I didn't mean to hit that shit. I'm not picking up nobody for $6 at the fucking World Series. No, I'm cool on that shit. He's like, man, y'all are nuts. Nuts. $22 for $12 for, yeah, that's, that's kind of over near Phoenix, too. I like this 1989 right here for like six miles. I like that. Oh, shit, it's on Jefferson. You know what? I'm not doing this shit. Nope, not doing it. If it's on Jefferson, I'm not even fucking touching it. Because I don't feel like dealing with that shit tonight. Like, nah, I'm not doing that. Because these people don't know. They're not from here. And the police and everybody else should tell people, ride chairs on that side of Jefferson. It's in between Jefferson and Washington. So you got to walk across the street, probably go past Washington. You see all the ride chair shit over there. They're not telling people nothing. So people are kind of just going to be walking around aimlessly and shit. Look at this. Everything on Washington, Jefferson. Like, no, nah, I'm not touching them fucking trips. Because you can't pick nobody up there. The streets are too busy. It's way too fast. So it's like, nope, it's not worth it. Not worth it. Yeah, World Series might not be what I want to work. Because if this is the shit they're pulling right here, yeah, it's a waste of my fucking time. No, I'm cool on this shit. Look at that. North 4th and Monroe, $16 for like 19 miles. Nope. Nope. Let's look for something away from Washington and everything else. Let's get away from here. Fuck this. I'm not doing no World Series traffic because they not, they're not paying for World Series, so I'm not doing World Series. I'm the fuck up out of here. Fuck this shit. They can, they can use that shit for something else. 11.57 for that? Nope, that's on Washington anyways. I ain't turning around for no shit on Washington. Not going that way. It's like they do not have it right, man. They don't got it right. And I'm sorry about that because I know Texas Rangers are in town and they're like, man, we heard Phoenix is nice and all the drivers out there are fucking getting it and doing this and doing it. Sorry to tell people, this is not ride share on Jefferson and Washington is not ride share. You cannot catch a ride on Jefferson or Washington. You have to go to a side street You because we'll get a ticket. We'll fuck around and get like a $200 ticket trying to make $27. And that's like a hundred and fucking seventy dollar turnaround. So I got to come up with another hundred and seventy just to pay off the ticket I just got for picking somebody up on the street that I should have never picked them up on. It's like we know this city. The cops need to be telling people you cannot get ride share on this street. You have to go up the street. You got to cross Jefferson. You got to cross Washington probably because we got all these streets blocked off. You've got to go. Because those streets are way too busy for ride share. And cops would be like, don't get in that car. I'm going to issue you a citation if you get in that car. Because they don't like people doing that shit on them busy streets. That's how accidents happen. People get hurt and shit. Cars get rear-ended. It's always shit going on on them two main streets. So they need to be like, listen, put big-ass billboards up. Ride share is not to be picked up on Jefferson or Washington. So somebody knows if they fucking put a, a thing on Jefferson or Washington, they might not get a ride. They say, oh, shit, I'm not going to get a ride, man. Because they just told us not to come on this street. And here I am on this fucking street. It's like, got to be smarter than that shit, man. Like, help these motherfuckers out. They're not even from here. They don't know. It's like, shit. I'm not about to get no... Like I said, I haven't seen too many motherfuckers get pulled over by them damn bike cops. Issued fucking tickets for picking people up on Washington and Jefferson. They don't like that shit. It's like, help these people out. Let them know. This is not a ride share pickup. You got to walk a little bit. Like, this is stadium traffic. It's through traffic. It's crazy. You can't just stop a car and get in. That's not happening over here. It's not happening. So, yeah. That shit. Offline. There we go. Yeah, we're done with that shit. I'm not doing no motherfucking World Series track, but that's how it's going to be. I don't want no parts of that shit. No parts of that. It's like, we'll go get some money from somewhere else. Let's try another spot. I'm already going north a little bit. Let's see if we can get something up here. Like I said, Washington Jefferson, not touching it. Not fucking touching it. 
Nope, that's on Jefferson. Doubt it. So that's what I'm looking at right now. The first thing I'm looking at is the street name right now. I'm looking at street name to make sure I even want to fuck with the amount. If the street name is not right, I'm not touching it. Okay, that's on Adams. It's too far. It's 27 miles for like $21. Not doing that one. Adams was a good pickup spot, but it's like the trip was just jacked up. So I'm going to sit right here at this Taco Bell so I can scout some rides. All right, $15 is on Roosevelt. Nope, not for no 17 miles, 18 miles. No, nah, we're not doing that. See, this might just be a night that I just don't work. Yeah. Oh, I'm school. I'm not going all the way to Mason. Not for no $15. That's past fucking ASU and everything. It's like it ain't even fucking worth it. $11 for 11 miles. Nope. That was with the bonus, too. Man, World Series traffic sucks. This is a Monday night. $17 for almost 22 miles. Yeah, the Gilbert. Nah. You know what? I'm taking the night off. Fuck this shit. I'm going to rob my ass right back. Well, I came downtown for nothing. <laughs> I'm going to listen to me some music and take my ass home. That's my motherfucking Monday done already. This is some funny shit right here. So King James just sent me this. He said, man, I just received this reservation from Uber. What the heck is that? He got a 31-minute reservation for 20 miles paying nothing. <laughs> some Uber shit if I ever seen it. It says you can accept it. Man, who the hell would accept that shit? She ain't paid nothing. He said, I think Crystal did not pay Man, that's some funny shit. This is, hey, you want this ride? How much you gonna pay? Nothing. I'm like, okay, well, shit, that's normally what we get paid any fucking ways. Might as well. <laughs> Wednesday morning. That's right, early morning. I slept after the podcast last night. Woke up today because I got reservations set on Uber. But on Lyft, I'm sitting right in the bonus zone. Like I said, it's not till 5.30. So I'm gonna turn this on and see if they can get me to go over towards Mesa. Because I gotta pick the person up in Mesa. That's right past Tempe, just to the east of Tempe. So... Nine dollars for that. Ah, uh, let's do it. It's just below me, man. I swear, I fucking hate airport in the morning sometimes. But it's right around the corner from me, so I'm gonna go grab them. Like I said, it's just a quick ten bucks. Hopefully they'll give me a tip or something like that. Then I'll end up um, shooting over towards Mesa to pick that rider up because I know once I leave the airport, Lyft's not gonna give me a ride, which is cool. I don't care if they give me a ride or not. That's not a problem. Which way am I going? Oh, I was just right here. I ain't worried about that shit. They got me going all the way around the corner. They don't think damn mind. Yeah, but it's cool, though, because like I said, they don't give me a ride, so I'm going to leave the airport, shoot straight over to uh, over near Dobson and University, and the Phoenix drivers know exactly what I'm talking about. So I got to shoot over to Dobson and University, pick up my other my airport reservation on Uber, bring them back to the airport for 20 bucks. But this is just a real quick one right here. I'm like, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's almost two dollars a mile whatever whatever hopefully they'll tip me you know five ten bucks then i'll end up but on lyft it's no telling you might not get your fucking tip they might tip me five or ten bucks so let's just say i hope lyft gives me my motherfucking tip <laughs> let's just see that. <laughs> that's better it's like geez but yeah i'll probably get out a little bit this morning when traffic builds up i'm out of here the best thing i can do is to stay away from my own area because anybody that knows southern you know baseline 48 40th street you know, even Priest, all those areas are crazy. You don't want to be in those areas early morning because there's way too much construction going and it's like busy. So hopefully I can get away from my own area and do a couple of rides outside of my region to see what I can do. All right, let me go pick this ride up real quick. Where are we at? Right here. All right, bit. All right, that was that real quick, you know, airport run. I'm leaving Terminal 4 right now. Cool, dude. We talk sports the whole time. Dude, this is sports nuts, man. He knows everything about every team. I was with this dude. He was a genius, man. Adam was cool as hell. But, yeah, that's the only way I took that. It's a $5 damn airport ride. They gave me a $4 bonus. I mean, it was right up. He's right around the corner. I just shot up here for 10 bucks from my house. I'm like, cool, whatever. Did that real quick. Now I'm headed. I'm going to jump on Uber now and head over to Down University or whatever. Pick this next ride up. Let me see if I can get this car around this one because this little SUV is not quite doing it. A little Volkswagen Touareg. Yeah, I like that. That's clean looking right there. I like that. Yeah, but I'm headed over now. Let me turn Lyft off because I'm done with Lyft. 937, that's it. He'll probably tip or whatever, but it's got nine dollar street going right now that I'm not going to pay attention to because I got other shit to do. So let me get offline with that. All right. Come on, thing. Quit screwing around. 
now I got Uber running, but I got Uber pet on right now. Oh, pff, they just threw my thing up. So yeah, I gotta go. Dang it. They threw it up there. All right, cool. I'm gonna drop down, hit university, and then I'll shoot around. I knew they was gonna do that shit. But it's not till 5.30, but they threw my, my map up already. That's fine, that's fine. I'll get there about 5.15 or so, and it'll give her 15 minutes. I've already wiped the car down, so it's not like I gotta do that. So I'm just like, eh. Let's kinda cruise over here real quick. Pick up Amelia, listen to me some music for a while. Then my next one starts at probably six. So I've got one right after the other one. So let's see how quick this morning goes. And if traffic looks kinda decent, I'll stay out and drive for a little bit more. If it starts getting crazy, nah, I'm not having it. I was going to university in Dobson. I'm going to university in Mill. Okay, it's like, I really thought I was like headed all the way down to Dobson. I was like, cause I looked on the map and it said something about Riverside. And I was like, okay, but no, this shit is on Mill. I'm like, I'm in the heart of Tempe. Man, I thought I was going over to Mesa. So it's a little bit closer than what I thought. But you know, like I said, when they when they get those maps for our reservation, they need to expand them a little more so we know where it is. Cause we, I can't see exactly where they are. They just got the map so small and so tight that when you actually get the reservation, like the little map like this, now you see where you're going. And so Uber, if you ever motherfucker listen to these videos, make those little reservation maps legible. Like we want to see where we're going. We want, we need to see what area we're in so we can position ourselves right. Cause you almost had me go all the way to fucking Mesa. I would have been pissed off if I had to come all the way back to Tempe from Mesa. That was Ms. Amelia, which was pretty cool. She actually works for the for the uh, Major League Baseball because she was talking about Texas and Arizona. And I was like, so you work for the uh, Rangers or something? She says, well, I actually work for the league. I just says, oh, she says, yeah, I'm up in New York. I actually work for um, the Major League or whatever. So we come out and we work the games and we do like our promotions. We do all of our stuff at the games and everything. Pretty cool lady, young. She's actually from Illinois, went to SLU. She went to SLU in St. Louis. She lived in Maplewood, and I'm from Kirkwood, so we was talking about that shit for a while. She was like, oh my God, I lived in Maplewood. I was like, I'm Kirkwood. And we started laughing back and forth, talking about SLU and everything. And you know, I went to Drake, I was, we were talking about smaller schools, not being known for sports. But she was like, yeah, I was a psychology major, but I ended up uh, minoring in sports management. And that's how I ended up working with like the Cardinals. I worked with the, uh, the Rams. She, so you worked the uh, St. Louis Cardinals, and she worked with the St. Louis Rams back in the day. And now she's working for just the league itself now. So pretty cool girl, young, so funny. She was so funny. And she lives in New York now. So I was like, how are you? She said, yeah, I've been in New York since April. And I'm like, how are you making it in New York? I'm like, you're way too fresh. It's like, you're too like happy. You're too bubbly, too cheery. She was like, I know when I'm in New York, I got to put my New York face on. I got to like, I don't take pictures of stuff. I don't act like a tourist. I'm not, I got to look mean and I'm not like walking around looking like I don't know where I am. You got to like keep your head on a swivel and know where you are. I'm like cracking up laughing. She is so witted though. She is so witted. And she was like, yeah, let me go see where I'm going now. She was like, yeah, I have to, all right, West 6, all right, we're going back towards Tempe, cool, cool. Yeah, so she was like, yeah, I gotta, you know, I gotta, you know, stay on point when I'm in New York. And it's like, when I get home, I'm like, ah, I can finally take off my New York face. <laughs> I was like, because you look way too happy and too fresh to be from New York. She was like, yeah, I've only been living there since April. I was like, yeah, lady, you wild, you wild. But that's New York for you, though. You gotta walk around with that face on, that New York state of mind. You can always be on your shit when you're in New York. Otherwise, man, they catch you lacking out there. They be like, hey, excuse me, lady, can I help? Next thing you know, they took your purse, stole your luggage. Like, that's just like New York. I mean, like uh, LA or some shit like that. But yeah, man, it's like, that was, she was a good ride. She was a fun lady, very fun. So now I'm headed back to Tempe, back over where I picked her up to do my next reservation, but it don't start till, shit, what time? It don't start, because right now it's only 540. It don't start till 625, so they'll be throwing it up on my app anytime. But yeah, traffic is kind of building up right now. See a little surge out here, jumping all over town and shit like that. But yep, yep. Let me see, let me see that last ride. 20 bucks. That was $20. It's $20, motherfucker. $20. All right, going through my rides here. Nobody's adding tips and shit like that, so that's life. Whatever, that's life. I'm off to my second appointment. I was actually chilling at a quick trip or whatever, and I got I had I was, I was sitting on a 350 surge, and this guy needed a ride to work from one of the hotels. So they paid me like seven bucks to take him like two or three miles, something like that. So I was like, all right, two dollars a mile, whatever. So he paid three dollars and fifty cent for the trip. They gave me a 350 surge or whatever. Well, he didn't pay 350 for the trip. They paid me 350 for the trip, and then they gave me the 350 surge. So it was like seven dollars. So I was like, whatever, let's do it. 
I could have said Don just kind of hung out, but I was like, I wasn't doing shit anyways. So I did that, and now I'm headed to go pick up my appointment. It's like three miles away from my appointment. And that's just taking him to the airport. So it's going to be like probably total about eight miles for 20 bucks to take him to the airport. But this is what we do, man. We we kick back in, in uh, parking lots and just relax. You know, I tell people, we are our own bosses. We don't need somebody to tell us, well, you can't go on break yet, or you could take a break. We just take breaks when we feel like it. You know, I go sit in parking lots, I kick back, I take a break, I do what I feel like doing, and I still make the money. You know, you don't got to keep taking trash rides all day just to say, well, I was busy, I was out doing it, you know, I was, no, that, that shit don't make no sense to me. I'm like, if it's not profitable, it's not going to add to your bank account at the end of the day. It's really not. All you're doing is you're, you're spending the same amount of money you're making, so it's like a zero-sum game. So for all these little shit trips that are 50 cent a mile, dollar a mile, I mean, people say, well, it only cost me, you know, 60 cents a mile to operate my car. It only cost me 60 cents a mile. You can't live off a of 40 cents a mile profit. You cannot live off a of 40 cents a mile profit taking dollar rides all day. Well, if it's a dollar a mile and it costs me 60 cents a mile to run my car, then I'm making 40 cents a mile. I'm not living like that, no. You gotta pay me two, three, four, five dollars a mile, eleven dollars a mile, twelve dollars a mile. I'm trying to live off of profit margins. I'm not trying to live off of being fucking busy. I'm not trying to live like that. No. If that's all you got is a little fifty cent ride, a mile ride, dollar a mile ride, leave that shit. Nope, I don't want it. I ain't got time for it. Cause I'm spending time. I'm spending the opportunity when I could be making a two dollar a mile trip, five dollar a mile trip, six dollar a mile trip. I'm giving up my opportunity to make that money by taking some shit that ain't worth nothing to me. So my opportunity cost is way too high when I know what kind of money is out there. I know the rides are coming through, but you got to make the apps pay you that money. If you keep taking shit, they're going to keep giving you shit. That's how the apps make money. They find shitty drivers that don't know what they're doing and say, hey, you know what? This dude will take it. It's a dollar a mile, he'll take it. Dollar a mile, he'll take it. They'll just keep doing that shit all day. They see me, they be like, yeah, his car ain't moving. It ain't moving. We got to pay this dude. His car ain't moving. Real quick to look at that very first ride I did before my first appointment. And yeah, tip me five bucks. There we go. There we go. I said, dude, he was cool as hell, man. I like that dude. He was cool. Let's, let's go rate Adam. He's an awesome guy, man. He's an awesome guy. There's not a lot of awesome guys left, but motherfucker, you one of them. <laughs> it's my guy, Adam, right there. There you go. I like motherfuckers. I'll have to go back and rate people over the weekend what they was tipping. But yeah, so I got that quick $14 before my first appointment. That's all I got with them. On my second reservation now. So I did Adam, the reservation. And I just dropped another guy off, Daryl. Now I'm doing another reservation. So this is how we got to do it all morning. And I think this is my last one. Like I don't have anything after this. So I can go home, eat me some breakfast, kick back. I need, I just went grocery shopping the other day. So I bought me some sausage. I'm about, and I think I got some biscuits. I'm going to throw the biscuits in the oven real quick. Get those motherfuckers up. I got some cheese. Man, I'm gonna make me some sausages and biscuits and cheese this morning. That's what I'm gonna make for breakfast. That's what I'm gonna make. I'm already, it's already on my mind now. And I got me some juice. Shit, this might be a start of a really good day. I'd like to thank my man for the super chat early in the morning. When I got up, I kind of started going through my, my YouTube stuff. And man, I saw that super chat. That shit made me happy, man. I started my day because I love when motherfuckers appreciate me and, and get that energy like that. Because I don't ask nobody for nothing. But it's just the fact that somebody says, you know what, man, I appreciate you, brother. That helps out a lot. Because I keep it 100. I tell motherfuckers, all these YouTubers out here want to lie like we really balling and we really doing amazing. And because I got a YouTube channel, I'm so important. I'm so, no, nah, motherfucker, you ain't really shit. It costs us more to be on YouTube than what it's worth sometimes. We've got small channels. We do a lot of work. I drop a lot of videos. I do a lot of content. You know, I do a lot of live streams. I put a lot of effort into making sure our community stays up. Because a lot, enough people have put us down. Enough motherfuckers have put us down thinking we don't know what we're doing. We don't make enough money. We need real jobs. And I'm that voice. I'll tell somebody to fuck off because I'll put my shit up against their shit any day. You got a W-2? Cool. I, I respect that because I work W-2 my whole life. My sons are going to have W-2s. I respect that shit. But don't try to put me down because I don't have a W-2 because I choose to do this because I'll stack my bank against your bank. I'll stack my house against your house. I'll stack anything up against you to say, where am I lacking? At what point am I lacking? If you can prove that I'm lacking with what I'm doing, then I'll say, okay, I need to go get a real job. But up till now, I think I'm doing okay. And I make sure I stay in the community as that loud ass motherfucking voice and leave us the fuck alone. We doing all right. It's 20 in the morning on Lyft. Oh, he says, thanks for coming early. No problem. And look at all these crazy surges and shit all over town on Lyft already. Look at that, $17. They really paying $7.50 way over there. 
you know, where I'm sitting, they got a few 450, 750 sitting right there, 925, 7 cent, 1250. These are all surge amounts for Lyft. And it's 6.20 in the morning. Ain't nobody driving Lyft right now. Because usually when I wake up, it don't look like this. <laughs> Ain't nobody driving Lyft. Everybody's like, fuck that shit. They really turn Lyft off. Lux people are really speaking out loud. I love it. I love it. Last trip right there. That was my man Christopher. He was cool. He was cool. The thing is, he walked up. And I was outside chatting with another driver when he walked up, you know. And then this guy right here, he tipped me the, 12, the little $7 ride, tipped me five bucks to make that $12 for about three or four miles. So that was good right there. So the money's coming through this morning already. I love it. The money's already coming through. So I've made just, just this morning alone, I made the 20, the 12 and that. So I made about 52 bucks this morning just being out cruising around right now. 54, okay, 54 bucks, bet, bet. So my two airports haven't tipped yet. So hopefully they'll come through because that's my airport down there and that's my airport there. Hopefully they'll tip and give me my money. Yeah, Chris was a cool dude, man. He was a cool dude, man. Like I said, I meet a lot of people, especially like in ride chair. And that's why I love it. You know, the energy, just the, the camaraderie, the, the direction of business and life and how we're all talking and thinking about where we want to go with this thing we call life. I love it, man. I love it. And dude, he was a psychologist. So he's a psych student and he's got some great ideas for like, you know, investing and securing his future. So we had a chat about that, which was pretty cool. Said, meet some amazing people with some great ideas, man, some great ideas. And it's, they're fresh ideas. And it's stuff that I can tell my son and tell them, you know, maybe you should consider this because I heard from this guy, you know, blah, 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 blah. And he, my son's gonna be like, dude, that is a pretty good idea, dad. I think I'm gonna try that. Like, try it, man, try it. That's what's up. And so now I'm headed out of the airport right now. Let me see if I can... You know get up here and, and make this money they're gonna give me 450 at the airport but i'm not doing no airport ride i'm out of here i'm out of here i want to kind of look over on lyft to see what lyft's got going i mean it's 6 50 in the morning i haven't had breakfast yet i should probably go eat something because i just woke straight up showered threw on some clothes and i headed out the door but i'm like man i gotta eat something i can't just ride around all the time on an empty stomach so here, let me get out of this airport. I'm gonna crank lift up in a second. Let's see. Let's go down here real quick just to see what's out there. They're gonna give me my little insurance flag thing. And your insurance is due in five days. I don't have my certificates yet, dude. Leave me alone. All right. Let's see what do we got? Yep. I'm at the airport. Nothing, man. Lift is blowing up. Ain't nobody driving Lift. That shit's crazy. Look at that. Fifteen dollars surges in the morning. Thirteen dollars surge. This is the seven o'clock in the morning. Look at this shit. Act like it's a club going on out here. Ain't nobody driving for Lift. Everybody's like, man, we ain't fuck with them. <laughs> Look at this shit. Lift is having to pay a lot of money to get drivers online, man. I feel bad for you, David Richard. This might have been the. The coffin, the nail in your coffin right here. The shit you just allowed to be pulled with this app might have been a nail in your coffin. You might be on your way out the door after this shit. The, the goddamn shareholders might be like, dude, what did you do? Did you not talk to the drivers? Well, I, I was on the right here, guy. Yeah, what did you say to him? I told him we'll pay him by the second. Motherfucker, what? That's all you said? Well, that's all they asked me. Yeah, and now we got all these motherfuckers like leaving our goddamn app going over to uber x because you got on a goddamn youtube channel didn't say shit you should have came you should have came at them better give them some hope let them know what we were doing something now we got all these motherfuckers not driving for us it's like shit david you're out of here brother you're fired you're fucking deactivated david <laughs> they're gonna deactivate david i'm gonna wake up in the morning try to use this goddamn employee access card nope deactivated you can't come in the building and yeah, they got a lot of surge out. And that's the funny shit. Like, I don't even feel like getting on Lyft. Like, that surge don't even fucking phase me. It really don't. Because I know it's fake anyways. They're going to give you a 25 mile for $23, but you got a $12 surge and shit. Like, wait a minute. They All they doing is dropping the fare to the floor. It's like, so you just dropped the fare to the floor, added $12 to it, so I'm getting $23 for 25 miles? What the hell, man? Well, at least you got some surge. Like, nah, there ain't no surge, man. That's a sucker bet. It's like, fuck that. I'm headed home to grab me something. Oh, $28. Thank you, brother. Thank you. It's my man Christopher. Hook me up, man. I appreciate it, brother. I appreciate it. That's what I'm talking about, brother. Man, I appreciate that, Chris. You all right, brother. You all right. And hopefully, like I said, he said he subbed the channel. So hopefully he listened to this video. Here's this video. I'm like, dude, I heard that. 
You're very welcome. You're very welcome, man. Thank you, Chris, man. Hey, people don't think these little $7 tips, $4 tips, $3 tips, it makes a difference to us because we do this all year. This shit adds up all year long. We do this. And so don't think that $3 won't go far. Don't think $4 or $5 won't go far. It'll go far because we're, we live very frugally to where we can make this money stretch a little farther. I mean, you just tipped me $7.35. I can go buy me a pair of cargo shorts from the Goodwill for eight bucks. So you basically gave me some clothes for work. I think of it like that. $7.35 is an $8 pair of cargo shorts over at the Goodwill. So now I got some new work clothes or whatever. And people say, well, why you shop at the Goodwill? Because all the major companies, they give all their like out of season items and, and returns and shit like that, they give it all to the Goodwill because they get charitable donations right off their bottom line so they don't have to pay that much in taxes. So you're getting clothes from like Ross, TJ Maxx, Dillard, Sears. You get all the clothes that these big major corporations are donating to the Goodwill to get a write off. Because I've wound up in there and I've bought, you know, shorts. It'll have like $48 on the tag or $38 on the tag, but the shorts cost $8 at the Goodwill. So you just say, you bought some $40 shorts for $8. I do that shit all the time. That's why I say you got to go to the Goodwill. You got to check them tags out. Stuff have brand new manufacturer's tags still hanging on it. They don't find manufacturer's tags just laying in the trash can and stick them on clothes. No, these are brand new clothes in the Goodwill that were either returns, they were probably blemished, they were probably just like out of season, you know, shit sitting in inventory, nobody's buying it anyways, just donate to the Goodwill, get the write-off, get the corporate write-off. And I know that shit because I used to do corporate write-offs. I was a corporate accountant, we do write-offs. We donate to charity so we can go get a base, a bottom line. When my manager says, hey, you know what, the CFO or somebody says, hey, you know what, we need to drop at least thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 to get into a lower tax bracket or something, we need to do this. Cool, this is what we do, we, we donate to a charity. We got all these chairs sitting downstairs. We get the uh, the uh, book value of it. We say, okay, this is the book value of these chairs right now. We donate them all. We get a thirty thousand dollar write off. Brand new chairs, nobody ever used, just sitting in the base in the basement of the casino. Nobody's ever used them, but we get a thirty thousand dollar write off just for donating them. That's how clothes get to the Goodwill. So you got to go to the Goodwill to find that shit. Like I said, that seven dollars and thirty five cent just bought me a brand new pair of forty dollars shorts for eight dollars. That's why I love these low ass tips. That's why I love them super chats. Cause all it's doing is buying me a new shirt. It's buying me some shorts, buying me a pack of socks, pack of boxing drawers, fucking something. And it's like, people think three, four dollars don't go a long way. That shit is energy that I appreciate because it's, this is what we do for a living. And if this is what we gonna do for a living, then let's get out there and do it. Let's make this fucking money. Let's give this good energy to people and hopefully they return the energy back. Because this is how we take care of ourselves. When David Richard want to know, well, what are you guys' expenses? We don't know what driver expenses are. Our life is the expense. That's why we do this shit, to pay for our life. In the morning on Wednesday, and I had to come down to O'Reilly to pick up some spark plugs for the uh, for my tune-up or whatever, so I had to put them on order. So I got to come get them. So I'm going to go online and see what Lyft is actually offering as far as rides go. Um, it says I'm sitting in a surge right now. Look at that. 13 miles, almost 14 miles for $10, 14 miles, $10, eight o'clock in the morning, 8.30, yeah, doubt that, that's crazy, that's crazy, that's 14 miles to all this crazy ass traffic, 14 miles, and they're giving you $10 for that, I got, what is this, a little over four miles for $5, and it looks like I'm sitting like in a surge almost, like look at where I'm sitting right now, so I'm sitting right here, right by the $4 in the pink, but there's no surge popping up on nothing. Like they're not giving me a surge. I'm sitting in the surge zone and they're not giving me a surge on none of these rides. Ain't that crazy? And it's like, they're acting like I'm outside of the surge zone. I'm dead in it. I got two rides. Look at this. There's no surge on that. No surge. 13 miles, $10, no surge. And I'm sitting in the surge zone right now. This is the kind of shit Lyft is pulling with drivers. Like only an idiot would be taking these rides. They're thinking I'm a new driver or something. Like I'm not paying attention to where I'm sitting. Like does these surges not matter? Is this shit like a phantom surge? Like you're really not sitting in the pink when you sit in the pink? That's what I'm telling you. Lyft is in some shit right now. These surges are to distract you, to get you to an area. And when you get there, they're going to start sending you rides. They're not giving no fucking surges. You can clearly see I'm not lying. This shit is all in real time. See, they keep adjusting. They still don't got me in a surge. They keep adjusting the screen, but I'm not sitting in a surge. Look at that. 13 miles again, $10. No surge. 
So I don't know what kind of shit Liv is on, but yeah, that's why a lot of people don't even fuck with Liv. You know, I'm turning this shit off. I don't fuck with them like that. It's like you sitting there sitting in the car in Surge. I'm in pink. I'm all in it. And I still, I'm getting base fare on every fucking thing they sent. Man, Liv can kiss my ass. Okay, something a little different here. I like to go over something a little different here. I like to go over how this channel is actually doing. And I rarely show this. I think I showed it once before, but we're doing pretty well. You know what I'm saying? We, we're getting a record number of views. We're making decent money. I mean, I thank everybody for the super chats. I thank everybody for the, you know, the super thanks. I thank people for the views, everything, because it helps this channel. I mean, 95,000 views for a channel this small, to me, is major because we're a rideshare channel. Not a lot of people watch rideshare. There's nothing really interesting about rideshare other than, oh, I went here, I went there, I made this, I made that. It's not really interesting. So we keep it live over here. We keep it interesting over here. And there's more people watching, more people saying, I want to drive like this. I think I want to start doing like that. And that's what's going to help the industry all together when we share all this information. A lot of new people came here. A lot of new people came. And that's what I appreciate most. More new drivers came to check out the channel than returning drivers, which means people are taking this stuff. They're going out there. They're doing what they're practicing, what they preach. They're getting the, the mechanicals down, coming back to the channel, sharing that information, getting more new drivers to come in. So instead of going out, telling everybody to strike, 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 we tell people decline, decline, decline. Cancel when people are taking too long, wasting your time. They're not even tipping you for that time. Go get it going. So I appreciate all the drivers on this channel coming and just supporting what we're trying to do over here, what we're trying to build. We're trying to build a textbook on how to drive smarter, not just how to drive harder. Sometimes you drive your car into the ground and you're left with nothing. At least have the profits. Go out there and get the profits that this job can make. And when you get those profits, you can turn around and put it back into your car, reinvest into your car, move to a different area where you think, you know, the traffic may be less so you can make more money. You can do so much more when you learn how to drive smarter. And that's what this channel teaches you. So, again, thank you guys for helping me build this channel. I don't make a lot. You know what I'm saying? I tell people I make more driving than I make doing ride share. And I tell I show everybody the numbers of it. I make way more driving than I make doing, you know, YouTube. So. I appreciate you guys just listening and helping me get some of my investment back from me not driving the nights that I'm editing or I'm sitting here chatting with you or doing stuff like this. I mean, I appreciate the super chats, appreciate the super thanks, super thanks, because it helps everything. It helps everything when it all comes down to it. All drivers eat better. You know, families are getting fed. The apps are paying better. This is what we do around here.